So this is my buddy John. He is first time he's ever been here in the Tesla. And uh, John, once you uh, will do this, I'll put in my secret code here. And so now we're gonna set you up a profile. So uh, go ahead and uh, hit my name there. And then down here at the bottom, oop, I've already done it. Hit add driver. Oh, we've le reached the limit. Let's uh, get rid of a few people. Just that uh, easy, huh? <laughs> yep. We'll delete Maddie. Okay. Okay, so go ahead and uh, put your name in there. Okay, and hit create profile. Now we're going to adjust your mirrors. Have you adjusted your seat? It goes up and down, forward, backwards, adjust it however you'd like, whatever is best for you. And where are the mirrors? Uh, right here. See oh. what it says? Touch that. See the shape of the wheel? Yep. You see this control right there? Mm -hmm. It rolls up and down and clicks left and right, and you will adjust your mirror by doing that. Okay, now to do the right, you click here. No. Oh. Click there. Same control. Uh -huh. There you go. Okay. Look okay? Okay, good, hit the X. Now adjust steering wheel, same control. Same control. Mm -hmm. And it goes in and out, left and right. All right, and then X again. And X again, and uh, you're good to go. Okay, so without going through, there's all kinds of menus here, the car. You see it's just menu after menu after menu, okay? So we're gonna go to autopilot and uh, you're set up to do autopilot, that's good. Uh, we're not gonna go through all these menus now. We will go through that later. Uh, but at this point, I'll explain how the car works. You've been driving for 40 years or so? Yeah? <laughs> yeah. Okay, good. So, steering wheel, right? Um, you got two controls. These controls are, uh, they roll up and down, they click left and right, and they push in, okay? Over here, you got your gear shift. And over there, you've got your, um, your turn signals. You have a brake, and you have an accelerator pedal, okay? Now the accelerator pedal. Um, what if I want to adjust the seat? Yeah, go ahead and adjust the seat, and you watch what it does here. Okay, and then you hit save. There. Okay, so now the accelerator pedal accelerates the car and decelerates the car, so you don't have to go from gas to brake to gas to brake like you're used to. You'll accelerate with the right pedal, and when you come off a little bit, don't come all the way off or you'll come to a complete stop. You'll accelerate and then come off slightly, and it'll adjust your speed. Okay, it's that easy. All right. All right, so let's see when we get out of the parking lot. I got us in kind of a tight spot here, so um, we're going to test your metal. Now, the accelerator does one other thing. This car will come to a complete stop and hold, whether it goes downhill or uphill using just the accelerator. The brake is always there to stop if you need to, okay, just like in your car. So, put your foot on the brake, all right, up here for reverse, push it up, okay, it just uh, went to automatic wipers, that's fine, okay but uh, we're in neutral, so there's reverse, okay? Okay, we're in R, see it right there? Oh, okay. Okay, we see our backup camera and we see our side cameras. Okay, and so you can take your foot off the brake now, it's not gonna roll, it's not gonna creep, and what I want you to do is slowly back up, and we gotta miss that curb, so 
Um, come on back, and I'll tell you. Nice and slow. Yeah, just easy. And then we're going to turn a little bit to miss that curb. We got this without hitting our front on. I parked it kind of tight here. Trying to see. Keep coming. Keep going back. There we go. We got it. I'm just going to miss this curb here without dorking the wheels up. And I don't see anybody coming, right? Okay, and we'll straighten it up. Yep, we got clear of this curb. Keep going back. There you go. Keep going straight back. I'm used to looking around. Yeah, we'll see. You can see over here on the right camera. Okay, we're good. Now you can put it in drive. Push it all the way down. Now you're in drive. Let's go that way. You see. Remember, it's 470 horsepower. It's like three times more than your car. Well, just for fun, let's drive around the parking lot once. Okay, we'll go through the parking lot. We're here at CVS, so. Now, what I want you to do when we get up here to the right, I want you to um, uh, now take your foot completely off of the accelerator and see what it does. Today, take it off. Okay. Come to a complete stop, right? Yeah. Okay, there you go. And so this is just... Yeah, it sees the lines and things on the road, and it'll notice other cars. And you can go up to this here and make a left. How do you do the windshield wiper? Uh, right on the end, push it in. Just once, lightly. There, you can push it in or push it hard. If you just push it in, it's fine. All right, it's looking good. And you see how it holds on the yeah. on the thing, right? See the stop sign. And then you, no, you don't need a brake. Just That's come right. off of the accelerator, nice and easy, to a stop. And we'll go left here. You have to creep out because we can't see squat. Hmm. I don't remember. You go to the brake. You normally go to the right? Whoa. No. Whoa. Easy now. I huh? automatically go to the brake. Oh, yeah, of course you will. The air conditioner's turned off. I'll turn it back on here. Which way do you want me to go? Uh, let's go on down because uh, we're going to take it out on the highway because I want to show you autopilot. So you eventually get the hang of uh, the one pedal driving. Yeah. Now it's a big hole here, so if you just go to the right slightly, easy. <laughs> see the see the hole there. There we go. We're good now. It's the yellow. Um, it's looking at other cars, and it's uh, saying you're that far from the curb. There's ultrasonic sensors all around the car. There's eight cameras looking at everything. And uh, I'm going to turn your wipers on to... Uh, intermittent here. See, it's easy to go fast because um, you uh, can't hear the engine rev up and shift gears and things like that. And you'll get the hang of it eventually when you want to slow down. You don't take your foot off, you just come off slowly and then you slow down too fast. Take it off slower. I know, you get the hang of it. So have you ever driven any electric car or anything? No. No? Is this your first? It's my first. Your first. Okay, good. It does not coast like your uh, fossil fuel car. 
So um, it, the way it's set up, you um, can slow down or go fast just with your right pedal. And if you time it right, you don't ever have to use the brake. Which means you don't wear your brakes, which is really great. So if you're on a steep incline, do you need nope. the brakes? No. Mm -hmm. And if you would run up on a red light or whatever, you just adjust your speed appropriately and without having to touch your brake. So, what do you think so far? It's smooth. It's hard to tell how fast you're going. Well, that's the deal. Here's your speed run right there. Right, right. right? Yeah, it's hard to tell. There's no noise and rattling and I mean, all kinds of noises you hear on fossil fuel cars. So are you up for taking uh, 26 here and trying uh, autopilot? Sure. Okay, then you will head north on uh, 26 here. Looking pretty good. Come on, let's go. Get up to speed. 46 miles an hour. Ain't cutting it. Come on. 70 here. <laughs> hey, you got a smile there, John. You know what we call that? The Better Tesla turn your smile. blinker off. Huh? We call that the Tesla smile. All right, so now we're going to uh, set autopilot. Now let me show you, tell you about it. Uh, cruise control on the gear shift. You push it all the way down, you'll go to cruise control. So try that. Push it all the way down. Okay, let go. Now you're going to go to 70 miles an hour because that's what it is. That's the cruise control speed. If it's too fast, I want you to roll... Pay attention, this will roll that down and that will adjust your speed down if that's too fast. Okay, is that a good number for you? Yeah. Okay, now we're going to do some auto steer. This is where it's going to drive for you. It's going to freak you out. I want you to press this twice. Click, click. There. Now it's going to put you right in the middle of the road and drive for you. So keep your hand on the wheel. And uh, it's going to know your hands on the wheel, and it's going to drive right down the road. And as the road curves, it's going to curve right around. It's keeping our speed at 65. It's staying in the middle of the road. And this is autopilot. Now watch. It's just going to go right around the um, right around the corner all by itself, without any issues. Now, if you were coming up on a slower person, it would match their speed. And uh, we have a following distance here in this right control, and I'm going to set it for three cars, okay? So three cars uh, would be your minimum following distance, but there's no traffic tonight, so I don't see we have any issues. Isn't that weird? Just driving right down the road? You can get used to that in a hurry, can't you? But it's freaky. Now, by you holding your hand on it, it senses rotational um, torque. And that tells it that uh, you have your hands on the wheel and it's not going to bug you. But if you don't have your hand on the wheel or it's too light, like, see this message? Do you see this? I want you to rot now rotate it and put your hand on it. I will show you how much that much. You just need just a hair to let it know that you're still alive and you haven't passed out. Now, if you would pass out, the car would slow down, turn its blinkers on, and come to a complete stop. So if you had a medical condition or what have you, you would, you would uh, slow down and, uh, and it would stop with the blinkers on. I call them blinkers, but my uh, followers call them uh, warning or hazard lights. I'm an old guy, so everything's a blinker. So what questions you have? Are you in mental overload at this point? So how do you, how do you usually, do you keep... I usually, personally, I just put one hand down here. But however you normally drive, if you drive with 10 and 2, yeah. then that's fine. You put your hands up higher or down lower or whatever you want. 
it makes no difference whatever you're comfortable but you see at this stage uh, once you become comfortable with autopilot the car is going to deal with all other cars and other things and now your attention can be look over to the right look over to the left for obstacles now this just turned dark didn't it yep. it's because uh, it's that time uh, between daylight and evening right but don't do that that it's going to change lanes we didn't even get to change lanes so what do i do uh, that's fine just tap the brake and keep rolling you don't want to stop out here keep rolling there we go I should have had you change a lane, but it just says auto lane change. So it'll actually change lanes for you. Oh. Okay. You want to test that? Yeah. Okay, good. Then we're going to get on 74 to the east. You know how to do that, right? Okay. Yeah? So we'll go half on the other side of the circle and then get on 74 there. And you just use your, your accelerator to slow down comes traffic so you're going to want to almost come to a stop so get on like you'd normally get on an interstate not at 47 miles an hour all right good now you're at 65 right okay why don't you put auto steer back on autopilot click click there now you're at 65 doing the speed limit anybody in your left lane okay I want you to just use the blinker turn it all the way down and it's gonna change lanes oops because you touched it okay anybody there okay all the way down and it's gonna change lanes for you okay that's freaky, that's freaky. and you can go back all the way up and then we're gonna find a clear spot and then change lanes if there's a car there or whatever, it won't do that. Isn't that weird? Yeah. So I think you'll get used to autopilot. We'll get off this first exit here. Be here. Now to turn it off, go all the way up here. All the way. There, now you're driving. So keep going. You don't want to stop in the highway. There we go. And we'll come to the bottom and you're going to use one pedal driving. And then uh, we'll go across and go that way. We'll take you the real back way. Just come up to the line up there and we'll uh, cross over. And you're going on the right. So it, um, I mean, you're driving, so. It stops quick. Yes, it does. That's the regenerative braking. So that energy that you use to stop goes back into the battery. And just watch for gear like you would normally watch. Let's turn auto brights on or auto be high beams on. Uh, just take that, pull it towards you. Uh, I'm sorry, push it. Push it. No, push it away from you. There you go. Now you're on auto and it'll switch on to auto here. Now all you got to do is watch for deer and things like that there. And to turn the windshield wipers off? Uh, it's fine. I'll deal with it. We're going to turn right here. Alright. Just keep watching for deer. I'll shut the windshield wipers off for you. Is that how you have to do it, or can you do it from I do it from right here. You can do it, or I can do it, but I do it for you. Oh, she's dark. Turn that on. We can see your face. Now you want to turn it off. Yeah. <laughs> Handles nice and it smooth, does, doesn't does it? Say. Yeah, I use my uh, Model 3 in autocross. Uh, we're right at the top of uh, 70 cars with my four-door family car. I don't think the fossil fuel guys like it so much. Where do you do that? Uh, up at the Ag Center. Right in Asheville. So 
you're getting used to the one pedal driving. Come off. Come off. There you go. You don't have to touch the brake. You don't need no stinking brake. Keep your eye out for deer now. We don't need any hood ornaments. This so if one jumped out, would you use the brake at that point? Of course. The car may try to brake before you get to it, but you're still in control. Just because you're driving a 21st century car doesn't mean you're not supposed to be driving. Handles nice though, doesn't it? Once we get up to the top here, we're going to try an acceleration test, okay? That means we're going to come to a complete stop, and you're going to floor it. When I mean floor it, it means all the way down, okay? Once we get up here on the straight. Okay, slow down. Is this the straight part? Yeah. Okay. Okay, let it come to a complete stop, okay? And you're going to steer it now. Ready? Yeah. All the way, go. You didn't put it all the way, go. Okay, it's good. <laughs> Jeez. See, you were too timid on that. <laughs> I could feel that. It didn't slam us in the back hard enough. <laughs> all right, see, what we've got coming here. Uh, here, okay, you can go ahead on my side. Okay, punch it again. <laughs> that is the Tesla smile. You get really used to that in a big hurry. This is no Subaru, <laughs> let me tell you. What are you driving these days? Oh, a Subaru. A Subaru? What is it? What kind? Subaru Outback. Outback, okay. Well, that's okay. It's a nice car for a fossil fuel car. And we just come off the accelerator and slow down and go right around the corner. You know what to do, big boy. <laughs> easy now, easy. 75 miles an hour is a little much. To stay on the middle of the road, yeah, we don't want to drive off the side here. Yes, sir, that is the Tesla Smile. Yeah, it's, uh, it's really the way to go. By the way, you can go 0 to 162 miles an hour without shifting. There's no transmission. There's 20 moving parts in the whole car. Now you want to slow down through here a little bit. Just... Uh, I know there's a lot of deer and crap through here. But you go about that a little more maybe, but just keep your eye open. Any questions that you can think of or are you an overload? I'm good. It's nice. I find that I'm looking here. Yeah. No need. Does that bug you not having the binnacle? No. No? To the left just a hair and I don't want to drive off the road there. There we go. So what? when you're not doing the automatic drive, does it still have things that will bump you? If you're yeah, there's uh, if you get too close to the end, it'll put you back in the middle. But this darn road, there's big potholes and things on the sides. You drive off, it'll wreck the wheels, and we don't want to do that. So the tires they put on the car, how many miles are they good for? Uh, as many miles as you don't burn them up with your lead foot. 
I've got uh, 25,000 on these tires and uh, I got probably another 30, 40, maybe more on them. Somebody's getting used to that one pedal driving in a big hurry. So you don't need no stinking brake. By the way, this car doesn't generate dust. No, I'm just kidding. Yeah. Now the view off the rear window is narrow. It is, but if you're really concerned, you can do this and then hit the backup camera and see. I Generally, you're the fastest thing out there. You don't really need to look in the rear view mirror. <laughs> Thank you. No problem. And then just slow down with your one pedal. Don't touch the brake. And you come completely off and you stop. And then uh, to park it, you push in here on the end. Just like that. Okay. Thanks, Dave. That's okay. Dave. So now, tell me a little bit about what are your thoughts. This is the first time you drove it. I mean, it's um, not like anything I've ever, you know, driven. Right. I'm going to do this just to get a little more light on your face so we can see uh, your uh, yeah, expressions here. <laughs> I mean, it's... So this is the first time you drove the any electric car. That's correct. Okay. Uh, what's your first thoughts? It's amazing. <laughs> you like it? I like it. It... Um... I mean, this isn't the first thing that comes to mind, but it's, it seems to me like less fatiguing. Okay. You, when you were, what, auto steer or just driving in general? Just in general, because you don't, you have less noise. and. Right. Do you find the noise from your regular car kind of distracting? Maybe? Now that with the absence of it. It's more, yeah, realizing right? the difference. Right. Um, it's super smooth. Yep, I agree with that. Um, I think after you get real, I mean, it's just, it's like easy. Yeah. Now, it, do you find this to be intimidating at all? Um, I'm not used to the speed when you do well, it. I don't know how. That, that it, is true. But um, you did have a Tesla smile when you I were accelerating. And I could see the benefit if you were, you know, accelerating into traffic on a highway freeway yeah i mean if you had to get on the highway it makes it easy just to get up to speed match your speed and get over right i agree with that um and seeing all the the cameras and the right controls um it's just a, a sense of safety do you uh see that the having all of the controls here except for what's on the steering wheel do you find that to be um, intimidating in, in driving, or what's your thoughts, sir? Um, I think it's too early to say because you were doing right. Some well, we there. didn't spend a whole lot of time going through all the menus, and um, so I don't know how much is on the screen that I would have to do while I was right. driving. And if okay, that that's be fair. Distracting now, right? With autopilot then it's not an issue, but if you don't have autopilot, then... Yeah, I mean, uh, do you have an iPad or um, a uh, tablet of some kind? Yeah. So you're used to yeah, with your finger, doesn't... right? And, so if you were to push this little car right there, and you can see now it comes up with iPad-like controls. Yeah. So that doesn't intimidate me. It's just if I was driving and didn't have automatic pilot, you know... How much do you have to be over here? As opposed yeah. To well, whatever. That's a good. That's a good question. And I think a lot of people are used to all their knobs and buttons and things all over the car. Uh, but if you look right along the row here, 
I think uh, the engineers and things have set up quite a bit of the stuff you would normally. So normally here, uh, we're in rear view camera, but normally you'd have the map. Uh, if you wanted to turn your seat on, uh, if you touch that little control, it turns your seat heater on. Now, this car has complete voice controls. Uh -huh. So you don't even have to touch half this stuff. So here's what I want you to do. I want you to push in and let go and say, my butt is cold. Okay. My butt is cold. Okay, see what it did? <laughs> yeah. It turned your seat heater on, didn't it? But you could also say, um, turn seat heater off. Yep. See? So... Whether you use the control... Turn heat seater to one. Sorry, I was talking. Yeah. Say that again. Turn heat seat heater to one. Yep, you got one. Okay, so that kind of takes care so of So there's all kinds of things you can do. You can... Uh, just about almost everything is controlled by voice. So technically, you don't even need to do anything. Uh, if we were over here on the map, okay, and you wanted to see satellite view, what do you think you would do? Turn on satellite view. <laughs> see, what have you been in the car? 12 <laughs> minutes, right? And how hard is that? Not hard. Not hard, right? And... I think a lot of folks that are um, driving fossil fuel cars, just like me and you, for the last 40 years, are used to all the knobs and buttons and binnacle and all that stuff. And they probably carry a flip phone, right? I mean, a lot of, a lot of people that don't like the smartphones will carry something that's less intimidating, like a flip phone. That's easy to understand. But what I find is um, the, the UI, the user interface here in this car, makes it very easy to do things. Um, it has a full-time internet connection here. If you wish to uh, play a music, do you have a favorite song you like? So you just ask what the song Pre is? Press it in and say play, and play that name of that song. Try it. I'm trying to think of the song now that you're asking. Uh-oh, sorry. <laughs> Um, Any song. All songs. Play Steely Dan. I'm going to stop it, otherwise I get a copyright strike. So, oh, okay. But that's okay. But you see, you can play that too. And if you press the little cliff mark there, I think that's what it's called. I call it the music symbol. Look, do it again with Steely Dan. So where do they, what's their source? Um, Spotify, um, TuneIn, uh, there's all kinds of online stuff you uh, can also have subscriptions. We also do karaoke here, if you're a big singer. No, you don't do karaoke <laughs> in your car, huh? Okay. Uh, but th there's an online service. Uh, you have also an FM radio here if you wish to listen to FM radio. Is it compatible with? Apple Music, too? Um, well, you can play your phone through it, no problem, um, and possibly Apple Music. I think they're going to come with Apple Music in another revision, I think, is the deal. Uh, have you ever had to take your car in for new software in your Subaru? I have. Yeah. Just did. Yeah, well, guess what? They send it to you over the air yeah. here, and you don't have to even take it to a dealer or a, or a uh, service center or anything. They download that over the air. And there you see our real strong signal here. Yeah, there's not a <laughs> lot of good cellular signal here, but that's okay. So um, I can go on and on and on, and I won't because uh, the video is getting on the long side. However... Any final thoughts you can think about driving this car um, that, uh, tell you what, tell me the best thing about driving the car and then tell me the worst thing if there is such a thing. 
Uh, the best thing's uh, who's in the passenger seat. Oh, yeah, right. <laughs> yeah. No, I mean, really, what's the best thing about driving oh, this God. car? I feel like it's the future. You know, it's... Um, it's just easy to do and safe and fun. Well, the the best part is, is this one of the four Teslas that are the safest ones in crash tests. So if you're going to put your family in a car, would you put them in the safest one you could do? Sure. Yeah. Okay, how about the worst thing? The um, view out the rear. Out through the back? Yeah. It's not enough for you? Well, I'd have to get used to it. Yeah, well, like I told you, you can probably outrun them. <laughs> <laughs> John, thank you so much for uh, you, taking the uh, the Tesla test here, and uh, it looks like you adapted to it pretty well. Now, you like that one-pedal driving, do you? Yeah. You get the hang of that after all, a while, don't you? Yeah, just yeah. stop the move to the left. Yeah, that's right, and uh, the brakes last a couple hundred thousand miles that way. No use wasting them. Yeah. Yeah. Well, thanks, John. Thanks, Dave. All right.